that's why I always try to expect the best and not the worst, okay? Just, just try it again. Now, Kate, next time you, try, you stop, instead of relying on that holler, I want you to get that hand up in the front of that eye and stop again. So that way he's paying attention to you. <coughs> I had him do it that way different because you know, you start pulling on that halter, <coughs> most, excuse me, then I'll start pushing into it, and plus, you're getting him to cue off that halter. I want him to cue off my body. So what do you do? You put your hand up there, say, hey, I'm here, my feet stop, so I want you to stop. So let's try that again. stop your feet. There. See, that time you didn't have to really correct them because people don't realize that's it. Now, next time, be a little bit more forceful. Don't just, you know, because to him, that's a little bit, show a little bit of timid. <coughs> so, these so those simple things will count because, let's face it, most time we'll <coughs> You know, we're just leading the horse. We ain't doing all this other stuff. So we got to make the horses safe to handle, to lead. <coughs> so now what I want you to do, now we just walk to his head to get him turned. That's what I want you to do. Just turn around and, and walk. Circle, walk straight. Okay, so put your hands on there. And if you feel it slow out, take your right hand and push on that shoulder. Okay? <coughs> now, right there, see your head's spin. Right there. He's hesitating. When, when you go do it, do it. Push with push his shoulder with your right hand. to react to my body language. <coughs> so when I'm walking towards his neck, his shoulder, I'm walking straight. I push him with my right hand. See how my feet are holding right at his neck? I'm walking straight. I make him say, but he got my space. And this is something you can play with with him. But all you have to do you won't even have to touch it. You just get up here and you know, move away. But this is the way we start. And actually, he's doing real good. <laughs> but put, I got my hand halter on, my, hand, my left hand on the halter. Mm -hmm. I got my left hand here on the halter. I'm going to push with this one. I'm going to move that shoulder. teaching him right now to follow that shoulder, but we're doing it from the ground. So when you walk, put your 
toes front and just walk. And this is your push hand. This one's that's your this is your brake hand. Okay. But the more you push with this, see how see how see how he just softened up mm -hmm. his nose. Let's see if he'll do that again for me. I'm not really pulling that hard on his nose. I see the more I push. On that shoulder, you see how he's getting more in the vertical? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, he's getting some softness there. He's softer, and you'll be able to feel it when you do it right. So put the rope in this hand, grab here, and push with this one. <laughs> Push hard, push hard. Don't just go walk, walk off. Now, straighten your toes out. Walk towards his neck. Just walk straight. <coughs> there you go. That's it. Now walk straight. Walk, push harder with that right hand. If you push hard enough, you can walk straight. There you go. A little bit harder with that right hand. Push that shoulder around. Push it. Now, right there, you reacted to him. You notice when he stopped his feet, you stopped your feet? No. You don't do that. He, he's got to react to you. <laughs> so, let's try the other one. Head up high in front of his eyes, so now get the other hand. There you go, up in front of his eye. Now, really push with your left hand, push hard. That's all right. This is his offside. <coughs> Push. That's it. Now, right there, since this is his offside, what you want to do, uh, push a little bit when he moves his feet, stop. Reward him, head on. Push his feet a little bit more, stop, head on. So that way we're keeping him relax because this is off size so he's going to be a little bit sticky and I have we haven't done this with him yet so you know we want to build up on it we don't want to just say here let's do it all at one time okay a little bit more turn on that a little bit more a little more push 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 with the left push with your left right there, stop, pet on him. Alright, now let's do it again. Now move your feet. Be confident. Push, push on the neck, push on the neck, push on the neck. Now if you gotta push on the jaw a little bit, go ahead, push with both hands. There you go. Alright, a little bit more. Right there. Now pet on him. All you gotta do is just don't be afraid to be forceful, Kendrick, because you know horses don't read like that. That's not cruelty. He's just not gonna look at that and be mean to him. That's he's just gonna look at, oh, this is a guy I can finally trust. You know, it's you're just, not gonna try to trip him. Or, you know, you'll be able. To, that's where you get that trust and security. This with him, I've seen some of the stuff he's pulled with the other people, so a little it, bit more cautious than I am with other horses. Yeah, but, well, that's... But it's kind of counterproductive, I think. Yeah, that yeah, is. That's uh, like I said earlier, you've got to imagine everything's going right. Your, your self-preservation will kick in there. Well, you got to get out of there, believe me, because if you will get out of there. But if you got him moving away from him, away from you, if he does something, he's already moving away from you. So you gotta keep that mindset.